I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> What's up, Drone Camps Army? Welcome back to the Camps Life channel. Today on Camps Life, I'm sitting at my new desk and I just kind of wanted to upgrade things for you here. It's a really simple setup, nothing uh, super special, but this desk is pretty nice. It cranks up and down so you can make it a standing desk um, or you, know, you can have it as a sitting desk. But what's nice today is that I do have two different popular pairs of mid-range goggles here. So if you're looking to upgrade from your budget pair of goggles and you want to try out something a little nicer, like a nice pair of binocular style goggles, these do not accept inserts. So if you wear glasses, you will hope that the IPD adjustment and the focal range here will fit your prescription. So um, that's, that's uh, something to be determined. Uh, they do have the new style lenses on here that I have seen a lot of these companies adding on their goggles. Uh, Skyzone also uses the new O4X, uses this very similar style lens. But these are different screens on these. These are Lycos screens, and Lycos is liquid crystal display, and um, it sounds fancy, but liquid crystal displays are very expensive to manufacture, and Intel actually stopped making these types of screens uh, several years ago just because of that fact they're they're moving back over to using uh, OLED and things like that so um, liquid crystal it is fancy but does it look as good as the sky zone sitting over there that's yet to be determined so uh, and, and what I'm seeing is that the OLEDs they look good so uh, everybody wants OLEDs right now and even the HDO 2s rocking some OLEDs and they look great so um, the DVR on both of these are extremely different and it, it's it's so different in the screens that I, I I'm gonna try to show you the difference when I turn on the quad here on the bench so that you guys can a and B both of these goggles and see how much different one camera looks on two different pairs of goggles it's kind of it's kind of amazing how how different they look so um, one of them looks way brighter and Clearer. It almost looks like I'm looking at a different FPV camera when I wear this certain pair of goggles uh, as compared to the other one. So um, I will uh, go ahead and fire up some DVR footage and we'll just do some quick A and Bing of the DVR footage of both of these pairs of goggles. And then we'll come back and we'll check out the Attitude V6s on the bench and we'll talk about the differences between the two as well and my final opinion on both of these goggles. Here we go, guys. Okay guys, this is a lot of fun. Look how much clearer the O2Os are in the V6 DVR uh, in comparison. So it is brighter, the colors appear, the grass appears to be more green, they're much more vivid. And right away, this is not a good VTX on this petrol. It is having all kinds of feedback problems, but the O2Os, with the way they have the antennas set up, the reception is better. And I'm gonna fly out here over the field a little bit and just show you like some longer range type of flying out just get out here in this big open air there's no obstacles but look at the breakup on the v6s on the right this is the same exact recorded video from the same flight and this is how both of these goggles are performing i mean it's always proof in the video and you can see that the the v6s look a little muddier than what the o2o's look like and it's amazing to me that um, Fat Shark hasn't really corrected this problem over the years. The DVR is still not that great, but maybe they're more concerned with screen quality. But again, the OLEDs on the O2Os appear brighter and more vivid, which I'm going to show you next, versus the V6 screens, or the Lycos screens. Very interesting comparison here. So uh, let's go ahead back to the bench now, and let's look at both of these on the bench and the specs. Here we go. All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test. That was a lot of fun, kind of A and B in both of these pairs of goggles. And um, I had to do it because the O2Os were priced in, I believe, at a, at a fairly good price point. They are, they are, are a little cheaper. Uh, when both of these first came out, I believe they were around the $400 price point. Now they've dropped below $400. Um, the Attitude V6s are coming in at $389. 
and the sky zones are coming in at 359 so not like a huge difference in price but oh man i have to tell you again like I, i've i've drove this home for years sky zone has superior dvr to fat shark just always has and if you are an fpv race guy not super concerned about it but the freestyle guys are um, so it just depends on what you want to fly if you're flying big open field with trees and you want to make good penetration behind objects and be able to fly around behind yourself this antenna setup it seems like it's for the average pilot um, because with this omnidirectional right hand circular polarized antenna it will allow you that because it has this rf pattern this this radiation field out like this whereas a patch antenna for the new guys it's coming out on a certain uh, degree pattern out in front so you kind of have a field like this coming off the front for a reception so um, when your quad is out here you're all good in front of these but the minute you go back behind here that's when you're going to start to get some fuzz on the screen and some issues so um, as far as antenna setup i do prefer what they now include this is what i've used traditionally on the channel my 8 db patch antenna it's the echo from fox here I've used it for years and it's kind of splitting and breaking on me now, but it's still a great antenna. And I use a simple Lollipop 3 on the O3Os for my daily driver pair of goggles and they work great. So um, I have no problems or issues there. But also I felt like the Lycos screens, again, I mentioned this before that this liquid crystal display um, uh, is just kind of made by Intel and going the way of the Buffalo because of how expensive they are. But I mean, right away, honestly, guys, these didn't look as, as good and bright as these, even though the crazy thing about this pair of goggles versus this pair is that the resolution is way different. If you look on the website, man, the SkyZone O2Os only have a resolution on those OLEDs of 640 by 400. What is going on with that? That's nothing. They should definitely be better. I feel like these should be around 800. Um, for the price that they are 359 man i want 800 or better um, i just do because you can get some e-sheens with 1100 um, and these are rocking some 640 by 400s but they still look better than the fat sharks on the screen and uh, i'm going to plug in this quad and show you on the bench the best i can with this camera and zoom in and show you a and b both of them um, but right now on the scale the attitude v6 is 234 grams that's without the battery on your head. It'll weigh more if you do the battery on your head option. And these guys weigh in at, again, 234. So exactly the same weight. Uh, so no big difference in size and weight there. Uh, but big differences in the screens. And that's the biggest part of this review for me is that, yes, the DVR is better here. And I feel like the screens look, it looks like a different camera. It's kind of crazy. Um, the, the steady view receiver in here also is, is working good for me. It has a built-in receiver on this pair of goggles, so you're ready to go and you're set with what's inside the goggles. There's no upgrading like you can with the Attitude V6s. So for the long run, the Attitude V6s are more future-proof, and you could put in a different receiver in these, which is a nice option. Um, Fat Shark module bays are are fairly popular, and a lot of the a lot of almost all of them. Uh, will fit any type of 5.8 or 2.4 module in there. You can even go old school 1.3 in these if you want to. So plugs in, you have a little RX on off switch down here. We've got our uh, 1.3 millimeter headphone jack down here for audio out, HDMI port there as well. And we have IPT and focus adjustment on here. And the nice thing about this one compared to the Sky Zones, the Sky Zones only have IPD adjustment. So if you look here, IPD adjustment, that means the lenses go in and out, side to side. Everybody has different links in between their eyes. And this one has IPD in conjunction with the focus wheel. I love the focus wheel on these goggles because what this does with this new type of lens versus these are more kind of old school lenses now, um, with the way this looks, uh, as far as the screen and the, and the image projection goes is that these have a broader focus range so if you have gog if you have glasses these goggles will actually most likely work in conjunction with whatever your glasses prescription is so that's kind of nice uh, the o4x's have the largest 
focal range of any pair of goggles on the market. So if you're looking, if you have glasses and you don't want to wear contacts to, to use your goggles to be able to see, and you just want to do it, the focus adjustment wheel, the O4X is have a broader range than the Attitude V6s, which is kind of crazy. Um, and the IPD adjustment on this pair of goggles is actually from 54 to 74 millimeters for the IPD. The focus is plus two to negative six. Um, and I'll look up real quick for you just uh, for the O4X, the SkyZone O4X. While I've got you here, let's just do this look up live real quick. Newest and most popular goggles. The O4Xs are they're pricey. They're over $500. Um, but you get some of the best options with those that are 1280 by 960, 43 by 16 by 9. And the focus, the focus range on the O4Xs is negative six to positive six. And what did I just tell you that the focus range is on the Fat Sharks, the V6s, plus two to negative six. So broader range back and forth for getting those to work with your particular eyesight, which is great. Um, and also the voltage range between both of these, they're drastically different. These work on two and three S these work on two to six S. So if I'm at the field, a lot of times I might run out of my three S 3000 battery that's sitting in my pocket, um, that's powering my sky zones. And I can just pull out a four S 1300, which I always have laying around, plug it right into this guy and put it back in my pocket and keep flying. Um, so that's really nice. The, the 3S battery that's 3000 milliamp that I usually have in my pocket will last me about a week's worth of flying. So, and I usually fly every day. So um, that's pretty good. I like this battery cable option better than I like the traditional Fat Shark 18650 pack. So um, that's totally up to you. These will last you less time than a 3S 3000. Um, but these are pretty convenient. And you can charge these. I believe you can charge these from your charger with this cable right here. So, um, and you can replace the 18650s. You can take a handful of those out to the field. Those are only, you know, four bucks a piece or five bucks a piece right now on Amazon. So these batteries you can get anywhere, um, but you could also order a 3S3000 on Amazon as well. Also in the box, you do get a different piece of foam padding. I felt like the foam padding on the Fat Sharks was a little nicer. They do have a little bit thicker padding. These have thinner padding because they need to have your eyes a little bit closer for this focal range to work. And the SD card slot is in the very middle right here, which for me, it's kind of hard to get your finger in there. They put this piece of plastic around it. So if you have big hands, um, it's kind of hard to get your finger in there to get your SD card out. You probably have to use like a pocket knife or uh, a pair of tweezers to just kind of push on it or even a bamboo skewer is the safest thing to use. I have actually broken SD cards, putting something sharp on them. So be careful there. You also have a way to put a top strap on these as well on top of this fan. Whereas the sky zones don't allow you to do that. It only comes with that classic strap around the back of the head, uh, which is kind of fine, but I wish that they used the wide strap on this pair of O2Os. That would have been super nice. The O4X has a thicker thick strap, uh, which a lot is a lot more comfortable. A lot of guys are using those, but then again, the fat sharks also have the thin strap. So, um, there are quite a bit of differences. Are you guys seeing all the differences here? Um, sky zone and, and fat shark seem really, really, really drastically different. Um, but let's go ahead and plug in this quad. Let me show you side by side what these quads look like and hopefully I can film it for you. Um, if not, we'll just skip right ahead to uh, the, the final talk about the specs versus these two pair of goggles. All right, my friends. So now you are looking at a live view of the SkyZone O2O with the ant camera on the petrol from HGLRC. And you know, this video doesn't even really do it justice, but I have to tell you in person, the screen on the fat sharks looks bigger in front of my face, but the distance that the sky zones are set to, they look big enough and they, they don't look, they don't appear far away. But the biggest thing that you guys have to know about these two pair of goggles is that, and this is some truth here, these look better. The O2Os look more vivid on the screen and they look super clear without kind of looking washed out. 
um, you can change the brightness and contrast and the focal um, adjustment and all that but uh, yeah these out of the box this is the standard setting and this actually looks way more washed out than when I look at it with my naked eye um, because you're just viewing the phone view right here um, kind of moving the goggles around a little bit to just kind of show you around and it's also becoming stored distorted because of the magnification in front of this lens but if I could show you straight this lens in comparison you'd see that these OLEDs look drastically different I mean the biggest test with two pairs of goggles is turn them both on at the same time and look at them with your naked eye and it's amazing to me that something that has 640 by 400 OLED looks better than the Lyco screen um, which is is kind of wild it's wild to me so um, these screens do look great now let's just go ahead and put up um, the fat sharks as well let me go ahead and pull those over here and they may they may appear to look to look better but we'll we'll see about that um, it's it's really hard to judge when I'm filming like this so I'm just gonna bring these in and we're gonna zoom in together here try to get this into focus the best we can and there it goes it's light shift adjusting a little bit there so just bear with me guys so you know yeah it's it's extremely hard to tell with this type of setup and I know it's annoying but um, there we go it's a little better there and it is really hard to tell but you can tell that this image appears to be larger for sure even just showing it to you with the camera phone here um, but again like this is a more washed out view than what the sky zones are appearing to show um, which is really interesting to me with sky zones having the lower resolution so now I've got the sky zone O2O's again here I'm just going to zoom back out and maybe what we can do is set these two pairs of goggles side by side here and get them in a little bit closer here and yeah it's kind of hard to to really give this justice but I promise you that the O2O's do appear to be a better more vivid screen and right there right there is where you can see it so if you're still at uh, still with me at this point in the video look how saturated the green on the drone camps flag is it's more true to color and it even makes the ant camera look better I mean let's go you guys so that was the O2O's and again you see that difference you see that difference there yeah you can see that it's it's this is the attitude v6 is right here and they appear to be a little bit brighter but the color is definitely 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 more vivid on the o2o's i mean look at that so when what this translates to is when you're outside the o2o's are just going to look really fantastic with something like a Cadex Rattel. Um, these do still look good compared to the older attitudes, uh, the V5s even. They, they have been upgraded. And I, I think the biggest takeaway for you guys uh, with this video is it really depends on what you want to do with your goggles. If you want to get a pair of goggles and just go fly, Sky Zone has has fat shark beat hands down if you want to have your goggles be kind of future proof and be able to take this module out and put in a new module the screens aren't going to look any different with a new module um, because they are still the same screens um, it might appear cleaner as far as your image reception which was which is really nice um, and if you buy these I, I would suggest getting a right hand circular polarized omni ant directional antenna and putting on one side or the other here um, generally I put it on this side and that would really that would be a uh, probably a better setup for you 
um, than including two patch antennas with it. But um, again, both goggles are priced in that sort of mid-range and uh, 359 for the O2Os over here and 389 so $390 for these. Um, yeah, that's the mid-range goggles that are available currently right now. Um, I would suggest a few different modules down below if you want to upgrade. Uh, rapid Fire is still very, very good. It's around $169 for Rapid Fire, but then again, um, you don't have to buy an extra module with these. You can just run with the steady view, new steady view receiver that's in the O4Xs, same receiver in these. So that's really, really good value. So yeah, I know I sound like a fat uh, a fanboy, a SkyZone fanboy, um, but I'm just telling you guys how it is. That's it. I'm not boosting you any lies. I'm not pumping up SkyZone. I'm just showing you really honestly and truly what I see here on the desk and out in the field, my experiences with it. And, and, and also the DVR is great on them. So, um, and a little bit cheaper, uh, just a little bit cheaper. So, um, you guys can take it all with a grain of salt. It's just my opinion, but that's fat shark versus the O2Os. Um, I appreciate it. If you guys do subscribe on the channel, check out my Patreon if you want and, uh, you know, take it light and stay humble and kind guys. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.